Okay, Parky, first uh, pre-season game, how do you think it went? Really proud of the lads. Uh, they had a right go today. We had a really young side today. So we had uh, four under-16s who played, so they're only 15 years of age against a men's team. We've got four or five injuries with the Scholars at the moment. Um, so we're a really young side. Uh, decent challenge against Heswell. Uh, we played them every pre-season and it, it's always a decent challenge for our lads. Uh, it was likewise today, difficult conditions, really hot, dry, sticky pitch. Our first pre-season game after two weeks of really tough work for the players. Uh, so it was pleasing, even though we, we lost the game uh, narrowly, we, uh, we, we did really well and the things we've been working on in training, we were able to see that come out in the game today, so it was pleasing. How important is it for the young lads to come up against a senior side like Haswell? Yeah, it's good conditioning, so it's all about conditioning and pre-season. Um, so for us, we, we always pitch them against some men's teams. We play some teams who are, are our own age, but we also play men's teams because it toughens the lads up. So the first-year scholars have come straight out of, out of school, and we're trying to prepare them for a life as a professional footballer. So uh, they're in now full-time. If they want to be playing reserve team and first-team football this season, they've got to be used to playing against men. Uh, helps them toughen up, makes them grow up really quickly. That's part of the process of, of getting them ready for first team football. And uh, as a as a first outing, some pleasing aspects definitely some to really take forward. Really good performances um, individually. Some some really good performances. Um, some good stuff from the uh, from the under 16s. The plays I was really pleased with them. Uh, likewise from the scholars. Like I said, they've been taken on board what I've been asking them to do. And uh, the lads that have been training with the first team, we've had Josh Allen Davis, Declan Drysdale and James Devine been training regularly with the first team uh, so, so they were kind of our senior players today so they stood up and, stood up and put in some good performances today as well uh, so, the, so the pleasing stuff is that they're asking them to do what we are asking them to do um, sorry, they're doing what we're asking them to do uh, so that's pleasing uh, and individually you've got to keep pushing on there's still four weeks until the season starts uh, Excellent finish for the goal Really good finish, young Jake Burton only at under 16 um, so he's a 15 year old kid uh, did great when he come on, come on, played up front. Likewise, George Nugent in the, in the first half did really good, uh, wide player. Uh, so we said that the, the young kids did themselves proud because it, it's a difficult test for them. It's it's quite daunting. Their season finished, the academy season finished a couple of months ago, so they're not yet back in pre-season training in the academy. So for them to come in today uh, haven't done nothing. Uh, they did really well, and uh, likewise, our players are obviously feeling slightly fatigued after two weeks of, of really hard work that they've put on on training ground. Um, so, so it's difficult conditions, and what we wanted to get out of today, we did, which was fitness, lads getting minutes under the belt, and getting to see that what we're doing in training is paying off. And going forward, keep working them hard for the next couple of weeks? Definitely. Uh, we've started doing a lot of pitch-based stuff now. Um, so the first two weeks was really intensive endurance work. Now we're, we're doing pitch-based stuff up at Solar Campus at the training ground. So we started working a lot more technically and, uh, and doing a, a little bit more tactical work. So we're, we're starting to embed the philosophy of why we like to play in the academy. So that when you watch the youth team, they are the flagship team for the academy in terms of the philosophy and the identity and the, the DNA of Tramir. That is, uh, that you should be able to see that when you watch our youth team.